AQ's Blog and Grill. Hi, and welcome to AQ's Blog and Grill. We're really excited today to have Larry Smith join us. Larry is an adjunct associate professor at the University of Waterloo in economics. He's a, a very talented individual with always an interesting point of view. So welcome, Larry. My pleasure to be here, Alan. Thank you. For the TED Talk, you've had over a million views of, of that chat. And what was the title again? Because it kind of sticks out. It's not the usual kind of optimism thing for young people these days. What was no, the title was, Why Are You Going to Fail to Have a Great Career? And apparently, millions of people need to find out why they're going to fail. Uh, on both YouTube and TED, it's now uh, approaching uh, three and a half million. But it's depressing, because it really is an argument for pursuing one's passion that nobody would have watched if it would have said, you should pursue your passion. <laughs> right. So it was an example of using the title to attract attention to it. Now, it's also true, because I used the TED video, or I based the TED video on all of the comments uh, hundreds of students had made to me, the excuses which are used, mm -hmm. as part of the logic of the video, right. all of those excuses I've heard in my office. And I got so frustrated with hearing people make excuses for why they would not pursue their passion that it seemed like a logical approach uh, on the TED video. That that many people need to be told what everyone already would know was common sense if they thought about it is depressing. Right. So the alternative to following your passion and, and creating a fabulous future for yourself is what? Slogging. Slogging? It's slogging. That's all there is left. I have a boomlet, actually, of students who contact me at age 30. Mm -hmm. they have five years into their career, and the conversation often begins with, quote, I feel trapped. At 30. At 30, because the vision they had is not realized. All right. And, and is this where we get into the, the soul-sucking... Uh, corporate job type of thing that, that you well, of, cor of course because if you can't bring passion to your work you can't bring high talent you can't bring creativity you can't bring leadership so all you can bring is effort hour after hour a relentless effort together with the stress of being told to do things that you are already struggling to do since most organizations have to ask their employees to find new ways to do things and if you can barely get the old ways done, because you right. can barely tolerate the job, how would anybody offer a new solution, even a modest one? Right. What if you're 30 and you have 1.5 children and you have a, a mortgage and a car payment? And what, what do you do? Well, first you accept a lot of pain. It is difficult. The older one gets, the more difficult it is to make a change for the reason you speak. If you have family responsibilities, you have a mortgage. Life gets complicated. It is more difficult to do it. So they see a window of opportunity closing. Even though it's not going to be easy at 30 or 32, 33, mm -hmm. it's possible. And they decide this is either where they move forward aggressively, take the risks and the aggravation that come with it, or they decide to soldier on for another 30 <laughs> to 40 years. Whoa. They're going to make excuses? The nature of the excuses now changes somewhat. How's that? Now it becomes, well, the world sucks. There are no good jobs. Life's just a bitch. Y you know, I'm doing the best I can. Now the blame is not on them, but it is on the environment. They have now absolved themselves of the responsibility for having put themselves in a position of such disadvantage and stress to them. I understand why they do that. I would do that too as a coping mechanism. Coping mechanism. If yeah. I was trapped, implicitly knew that, and did not have the courage or the determination to change. AQ's Blog and Grill. Hughes Blog and Grill.